Greetings, rock enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Rockumentary Channel, your premier source for riveting rock news and music insights. If your passion for the world of rock matches ours, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and show your love by giving this video a thumbs up. And of course, ring that notification bell to stay tuned for all our electrifying updates. Today, we journey back in time to explore the indelible mark left by a legendary band on the hard rock scene. Formed in 1972, Van Halen etched its name into rock history. Founded by the Van Halen brothers, Eddie and Alex, the addition of vocalist David Lee Roth and bassist Michael Anthony solidified the lineup that unleashed their self-titled debut album in 1978, propelling them to rock stardom and making them an iconic presence on the US rock charts. Their influence is undeniable, securing the 19th spot on the list of top-selling artists in the United States, with a staggering 56.5 million records sold. In April 1985, David Lee Roth left Van Halen, and while there's controversy surrounding the departure, significant disagreements with Eddie Van Halen played a major role. As Eddie delved into exploring keyboards, synthesizers, and ballads, Roth leaned towards maintaining the heavy rock sound the band was known for. Furthermore, clashes in personality and financial matters exacerbated the situation. Roth's eccentric personality and extravagant demeanor contrasted with Eddie Van Halen's more reserved nature. Disputes over credits and financial compensation also contributed to the split. More recently, during an appearance on the Classic Rock podcast, Glenn Hughes revealed that he was approached to join Van Halen after David Lee Roth's departure in 1985. Hughes disclosed, Eddie was in recovery at the time, and we had a conversation about it. I had no idea. Eddie was my friend from the get-go. Would it have worked? I'm not sure. Hughes then briefly commented, clarifying that there was a condition for it to work, but he wasn't in a position to fulfill it at the time, it would have worked only if I, too, was in a complete state of sobriety, and I've been sober for 24 years. It would have been intriguing, wouldn't it?" he concluded with a chuckle. We're eager to hear your thoughts on this fascinating piece of rock history. Share your insights and reactions in the comments below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Rockumentary channel for more enthralling rock stories. Stay tuned for more rockumentaries, music news, and captivating narratives. Until next time, keep the rock spirit alive, and we'll catch you in the next video.